The dad, he's a chef, he is an author, and he's the owner of a brand spanking new Italian yeah. restaurant oh. right here in Los Angeles, which opens today. It is called The Ponte. Oh, Welcome, right. Chef. Oh, thank you. I like the way you say that, the ponte. The ponte. I really like give it that, that, that Italian. Italian. At the end of no, the day, it's still a mess hall, right, guys? Yeah. I mean, that's Something what we're like talking that. about. All right, exactly. Joseph, Chef Scott, tell us what the ponte means. So the ponte, when I was, when I was a kid, my grandparents uh, immigrated from Italy. And so they were a town called, uh, from a town called Ponte Landolfo. So this town, it's, it's just about an hour and a half northeast of Naples. They all went to Waterbury, Connecticut, where I grew up. Shout out to Waterbury. So yeah. there's not a lot of us that actually got out of that place. So... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, oh. when they when they were there, they would refer to themselves and others from Ponte Landolfo as Pontis. So if if everybody was like, you know, oh, go to their house, they're a Ponte, they're they're they're, they're like us. It was people we right. could trust, yeah, yeah. people that that were kind of family extended versions right. of the family. So like they're so. like us around here. They want to eat. So yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. dig in, dig in. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you got? That's all you got. That's all you got. Roma. Right Toledo. Toledo. <laughs> so, what, so what can guests expect from the Ponte? Yeah, so the Ponte, nice. well, this is one of the signature dishes that we have at Ponte. So uh, it's a creamy polenta. I make it with half and half. Some of the okay. tips, they told me to start with the tips. Tell all us right? about the tips. Can I start with the tips? So one of the things is I start with half and half. Okay. Right? So it's nice and sweet. I scald it. I identify a really good balance of flavor, and then I cook it low and slow. Okay. So for an extended period of time, I'll cook this for about two hours. Sometimes up wow. in the restaurants, we cook it for three and a half hours. Oh my gosh, this okay. Is so good. Well, isn't that? Is that? Oh good. Uh, so good. Mm. I got I mean, no, I mean, Excuse me, you're supposed to wait till that look at he's eating it. No. Is, that, oh, is that one of the uh, main polenta. tips to actually it's, making polenta taste good? Because I know a lot of, I have friends who will say, I just don't like, like polenta, and I say, no, you're not mm -hmm. making it right. Well, I, that's exactly the point. Yeah. yeah. So when I, you know, this is, we spoke about it earlier. This is one of those dishes that, be, when I was a single man, I needed no. all the help I could get. Yeah. And this is, <laughs> so nice. this is one of the dishes I would send out to tables of, of women, single women, and you know, it, it would work in my favor. Let's say it didn't hurt. <laughs> Scott, Scott so, this is delicious, but can I make one suggestion? Uh, yeah, please. Red onions. Yeah. <laughs> red onions. In it. This is, it stinks without the red onions. There's always a critic. Always, There's always, always a critic, one. You know? Okay, so you All put right, the polenta so, in there with the scalded half and so half. So with the scalded half and half and that nice sweetness, and then we add enough salt so it's sweet from the from the scalding of the of the half and half, okay. sweet from the polenta, and then a nice balance of saltiness that we add to it as well. And then we cover it and let it cook nice and slowly, yeah. starting with a wooden spoon. So you don't add any water at all? It's just the half and half? Just half and half. Wow. That's right. Debbie, you should have. That's right. Just so good, so, Debbie. Wow. And then when we finish this yeah. stuff, it is yummy. We add a little bit of butter. Butter. So Everything's better with butter. The best oh, yeah. thing, by the way, not a single calorie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> not a single calorie. Negative Amazing. calories. Plenty of Parmesan calories. cheese that I'm, I'm just grating directly into there. Okay, and you're sautéing the mushrooms over there. What kind of mushrooms? So I got a mixture of mushrooms. I have shiitake. You can stir I'll stir. Them. Okay, I'll be your so I, have, I have shiitake. I have some uh, hen of the woods. We have all kinds of, all kinds of good stuff in here. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken <laughs> broth, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And just cook that down. I'm going to finish with a little bit of chives. Did you guys have real food in the mess hall? What, what did they serve you guys on the show? Yeah. You don't yeah. want to have Spam. Spam. Yeah, yeah. Spam. 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 No, he, he ate applesauce. <laughs> nice. Or green stuff. Yeah, or green stuff, yeah. yeah that was, or green yeah. stuff. Things that the uh, cattle graze on, he's out sure. there. Nice. <laughs> so if you smell that, I just put some preserved truffles oh, inside there. Oh, that's, that's what really sends it over the what, edge is the truffle. It takes it yeah. to another level. It really yeah. does. Yeah. And now so, do we put that inside or you, no, 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 you we're layer? Gonna take, we're going to take this. Wow. And put some of that directly inside. See how nice and creamy that is? Yeah. It's almost like no, a delicious he's done. He's done. porridge. Porridge. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then a little bit of this delicious mushrooms directly over the top. Oh my God. I mean, it's Look no wonder that. why the women would just throw themselves Seriously. In, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. As if. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let everybody get in here. Here you go, Chef. Yes. Is your turn. Do you eat with a fork or a spoon? I don't eat this stuff. No, that's. No, 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 no. You're watching your figure, are you? What if you don't have truffles? So, it's okay to just go with mushrooms or use porcini mushrooms. Perhaps they they have a wallop of flavor, porcini. But truffle oil doesn't doesn't work. It's it's just it's a little bit too assertive, and and I'm not a fan. Well, oh my God! Well, I'm a fan of this. Good luck with your restaurant, by the way. Thank you.